space of continuing to meet some of the people behind the brand here at Frog Distillery, and kind of one of the most important people, and certainly some a name that you might recognise is Caroline here. And so I'm just going to ask Caroline a few questions about her relationship with Lafroyd and also a bit of kind of a few questions maybe just to find out more about you, Caroline. Okay. So are you from Isla and where do you stay? Yep, born and brought up in Isla. Um, I was born just in the point outside Isla, um, on the O is where it's called, born and brought up there and um, lived here all my life and would never move from Isla, I love it very much. Yeah, so a bit more about the O, is it, there's not many people stay down there? It's quite no, there, there's not, used to be many, many years ago, um, used to be big, big families but nowadays there's not. Um, my grandparents originally came to Isla to do farming, um, my father then took over from my grandparents and um, I've always lived in a farm and then eventually I moved to Port Ellen. So how far away from your nearest friend were you when you were? Um, probably about a mile and a half, two miles. Walk. You'd have to walk, yeah, you'd yeah. have to walk to, to go out. Yeah. You couldn't just go out the door and knock no, on somebody else's just... door. Yeah. yeah. So how long have you worked at the Freud and what's your role yet? <sighs> Well, my role, I do lots of roles here. I'm multi-skilled at everything mm -hmm. um, and I've worked here at Lefroy for nearly 19 years. It'll be 19 years in March that I've been at Lefroy for. Mm -hmm. So do any other members of your family work at Lefroy or have any past? My father-in-law, he works in the warehouse, Eddie Morris, he works at uh, Lefroy and um, he's been here for about 22 years I think, is it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and so what's your favourite Lefroy? My favourite Lefroy, I would say, was the quarter cask, yeah. um, as it's got a wee maybe a touch of sweetness that the other Lefroy's yeah. maybe mm -hmm. don't have. Yeah, so. but I'm married to my husband called John, and he um, works up at Bonhaven Distillery, and I have two sons. One is James, who's 12, and one is Kevin, who's 10. And they're at school locally? Yes, um, James in high school, he's in second year, so he's trying to make plans about what he's going to do for his future. Yeah. Kevin, um, very much into football, and he's in the Isla Boys Club, and they're in fact going to Spain next year in May on a big trip. So. Yeah, more about you now, so what's, what would be your favourite meal? Favourite meal, probably an Indian with a big glass of white wine. What's your favourite holiday destination? Um, the best place I've ever been, I would think, was Rhodes. Rhodes. It was a really good week in Rhodes. It was lovely, very nice. Okay. Uh, if you could sit some, sit some next to somebody even on a plane, who would it be? Well, you know the answer to that, <laughs> and I know the answer to that, and that is Cliff Richards. Um, he's been my hero since I was about thirteen, and um, that's definitely the person I would have sitting next okay. to. Okay. There you are. Uh, so. If you were stuck in a desert island, what would be the luxury that you'd have with you? The main thing that I would need with me would be my iPod. Okay. So like my music. You couldn't live without my music. Like your Cliff Richard. I would have my Cliff Richard <laughs> album. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And a, a thing that we could just talking to you here that's kind of suddenly struck me as well was the fact that you would have been there at the inception of Friends of the Freud and processing the slips and the bottles. Can you maybe give us a wee yep. brief chat um, about how it felt for you from... This. Yeah, I mean, when it first started, it was only initially just put into some bottles of 10 year old so it just came in very, very slowly. We'd yeah. add them onto the computer. In fact, we had a book we used to write the names into. Right. Um, but then after that, they decided to escalate it and have it in all the bottles. And after that, it just got a bit out of hand, and mm -hmm. I couldn't obviously handle that myself. Um, but uh, Friends of Lafroig is very, very good, and you get lots of personal letters as well to the distillery mm -hmm. that we like to reply to, and a lot of people enjoy that. Um, I know the email is very modern nowadays, but some people still like the yeah. snail mail yeah. and post, post, especially so at Christmas time, the little Christmas cards. 